previously on Mr. Young. Dang just has one final science project to complete, and then he'll graduate with the rest of you. I'm Pete, the new janitor. Dang quit and moved back to Vietnam. Master Key needs me. He is very old and can no longer protect the village. You must extinguish the flickering embers of my life in a final battle. To the death! I need a cover model for my semi-annual spring, summer, fall, winter catalog. I can't do this. I may have found the fabled fountain of young. If we make Master Key younger, then Dang will be free to come home with us and graduate. This excavation must have displaced the leaf monkey. You have to stop digging. You need to choose. It's the Fountain of Youth or me. Fountain of Young. Wow. Guess you made your choice. What? This must be it. This is the Lost Temple. Oh no! Our way back! We're trapped! I love science fiction. I don't make her choose between Star Wars and the other one. <laughs> Who goes there? <laughs> Who dares disturb the ancient temple? <laughs> Who has very little to do with any of this and should be spared? Hint, his name is Pete. <laughs> I've heard of the War of 1812. <laughs> Mrs. Byrne, how do you get here? To Vietnam? I took a boat. <laughs> but what are you doing here? I heard you were close to finding the Fountain of Youth. I've been searching for it for as long as I can remember. So, for just a couple of minutes. <laughs> ah, it's good to be an immature adult again. Give me your fancy hat, human! Woo! <laughs> Echo, what are you doing? The leaf monkeys have been chased away from their habitat by stupid Adam and his stupid science and are scared to return. I figured if I acted like one of them, they'd see it safe. So, ooh, ooh, ee, ee. Stop that. Monkeys don't use tasers. I'm sorry. I'm not a monkey expert. Stupid Adam usually tells me all that stupid science-y stuff. Even when I beg him not to. Whatever you go, I shall follow. Ah! Now hit me, if you're not scared. <laughs> You know, I accidentally wandered into the village library and saw that they had a book on monkey behavior. That'll tell us exactly what to do. What does the book say to do? Don't be so curious. I can't believe I lost Echo. Nothing could hurt more. How about this? <laughs> Ow! Let's call it a tie. Do you hear that? Something's dripping. It's blood from my head. <laughs> no, over there. It's the fountain of youth! <laughs> Wee! I never felt so young! <laughs> That's... Not the Fountain of Young. That's guano. Bat poop. <laughs> Bats? No one moves. Especially you, Mrs. Byrne. Do not emerge naked from that pool of bat poop. <laughs> one of the abilities these bats have is echolocation. <gasps> That's great news. They can help you find echo. No, it's bad news. 
These bats sense movement. We need to remain perfectly still to avoid an attack. Fascinating. These are a local species of Microchiroptera, the lesser false vampire bat, or Megadermaspasma. They get their name from... <laughs> Derby, wake up. This is important. What? What happened? <laughs> okay, the bats are busy, so now the rest of us can move. Not you, Mrs. Burns. <laughs> Got away from those bats. What about Derby? I could be your new best friend. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Remember that time you and I left Derby to be eaten by bats? <laughs> I do. Good times. Uh, I finally got all those bats off me. <laughs> wow, you got scratched up pretty bad. Those aren't scratches, they're bites. I was bitten by the Lesser False Vampire Bat? That means... You'll be fine. <laughs> I'm turning into a Lesser False Vampire. <laughs> That's not a thing. Oh, yeah? Well, then how do you explain these? <laughs> Those are your teeth. <laughs> Have I always had these? <laughs> I'm so excited. What an honor to be selected as your first cover model. And also our last cover model, once the villagers see your face and burn the factory to the ground in disgust. <laughs> but congratulations. <sighs> Thank you. For what? I know you faked that freak out so I could be on the cover. You're the best boyfriend ever. <gasps> Aw, your back hair grew back. <laughs> Okay, here is the fancy hat Georgian Slabinsky was supposed to wear for the cover shoot. No one can see my face. Yeah, but it's not all good. We can still see your body. Now working. It says here, monkeys like to fly oversized kites. According to the next page of the book, this is supposed to happen. <laughs> We're lost. Well, let's just ask for directions. From whom? We're in a deserted underground temple. <laughs> Come on, hit me. You're scared of an old, helpless, frail man. Dave, do you know how we find? <laughs> Great. There goes our only chance to ask for directions. We could ask her. How'd she get in here? Who cares? I just hope she's into those steamy, lesser false vampire young adult novels that are all the rage. <laughs> Excuse me. How did you get here? I already told you. I took a boat. <laughs> Mrs. Burr? Why do you look like that? Like what? Clean? I found a pool of water to wash off that bat poop. You found the Fountain of Young. Where is it? I don't remember. <laughs> okay. I don't know why I didn't go to this page first. But here's some really basic monkey behavior. Great. What do I do? You swallow a jigsaw puzzle piece, then I take you to the hospital. Once there, you mistake a wheelchair for a go-kart, race it down the hallway, and smash into the lunch carts right in front of the mayor. What? There's no way it says that. Oh, I don't know what it says. It's in Vietnamese. <laughs> I've been going by the pictures. There are tons of fun, colorful illustrations. This is Curious George. Well, it may be curious, but my name is not George. Oh, wait, it is George. George Tater. Anyway, what's curious about the book? This is a kid's book. The leaf monkeys are gone forever, and nothing in this book is going to bring them back. <laughs> My yellow hat. My fancy yellow hat. 
Leaf Monkey! George Tater! <laughs> Just hit me! I will not harm you, master! You must fulfill your duty! I cannot hit you! I will follow you wherever you go! Leaf Monkey, give the man back his yellow hat. Don't listen to him, Leaf Monkey. You can have the hat. Tell your friends to stay here. <laughs> Wait a second. Why does this Leaf Monkey have a zipper? How else would he shed his coat in the summer? <laughs> Dressed like a leaf monkey. There are no leaf monkeys. My family made them up generations ago, so people would have to keep buying our fancy hats. Every time a leaf monkey steals a hat, the customer comes back and buys a new one. That is an ingenious business model. Thank you. Not everyone can appreciate a villainous plot. It's a shame you won't be around to tell anyone. You won't get away with this! Someone will rescue us! My contract said tomato juice. This is tomato juice. You won't get away with this! How many rooms are in this place? I do count, because I love to count. One, <laughs> Number that comes after one. <laughs> Derby, you're not a lesser false vampire. You're a lesser false human. No, I have not heard of the War of 1812. But uh, why don't you come over to my place and tell me about it? Shh. Do you hear that? Sounds like flowing water. And a zipper? <laughs> Wash your hands for Pete's sake. You don't have to do it for me, but it is a good idea. <laughs> Fine. Here's some water. <laughs> what happened to my hands? Derby, that's the Fountain of Young. Are you sure? Yes! We did it! We're off the way home! <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Help! Help! That's Echo! Woo! And she's with some girl! <laughs> Gorgeous woman with you. Keep your eyes to yourself, Baldy. And Pete is here to take out the trash. You'll never stop me. We'll see about that. You are too late. <laughs> Your days of doing whatever it is you do, I really was busy with my own thing, are over! Help! Help! Derby, shut off the machine! Stupid <laughs> baby hands! You're okay. You have not seen the last of me. I think we have. We're going home to graduate. And I don't really see us coming back to Vietnam anytime soon. 
then you probably have seen the last of me. Echo, I'm so sorry. No, I'm sorry. I should never have stormed out. And I should never have let you go. No scientific discovery is as important to me as you are. And no leaf monkey is as important to me as you are. Especially since I was totally wrong and there were no leaf monkeys. What? I said, and best of all, you did it! You found the Fountain of Young! <laughs> and then lost it again. I don't care. You're the only thing I never want to lose. <laughs> That tickles. <laughs> oh, I have followed you to the four corners of the globe. Just hit me already. Fine. If it is truly your wish. Dang. How could you do that to me? I'm an old man. This guy hit an old man. Dang, there you are. I'm afraid we have some bad news. The Fountain of Young is lost forever. Along with any hope of bringing you home. We didn't accomplish as much as we wanted. Only some of us are going home. Thank you for trying. But Master Key is very old. He needs me. No, I don't. <laughs> I found someone who can keep me young. <laughs> What's wrong, Dang? You get to come home. But I'm still not going to graduate. I never did my science project. Sure you did. For the past four years, you've been studying a new form of high-speed travel. In fact, the you called phenomenon could revolutionize transportation technology. <laughs> it's worth an A in my book. Thank you, Mr. Young. See you back home. <laughs> what about the rest of us? Oh, no. We're gonna miss graduation. <laughs> no way. I'm graduating and leaving that place forever. Welcome this year's graduates. It must be nice to graduate high school. I wouldn't know. Please come get your diploma when you hear your name, which I will call in alphabetical order. Uh, heads up, I am not that familiar with the alphabet. <laughs> Derby, Von Derbitsford. Congratulations, Derby. Thanks, Mr. Tater. <laughs> You're well, wait, did you say thanks or pranks? <laughs> Ivy Young. Thanks, George. I've made fun of you a lot these last few years. That's it. Just reminiscing fondly. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> I'm over here. I'm going to take my time. I want to enjoy this. Echo Zizzle Swift. Thanks, Mr. Tater. If it weren't for the school, I never would have met the greatest person in my life. I hear you. We all feel that way about Pete. <laughs> There's one more name I haven't called. Jordan Slabinski. 
me? I'm graduating. From high school? Lucky! <laughs> Slab, you arrived at this high school 12 years ago. An angry, mean bully who didn't care about school. But you've really grown since then. Not physically, you were always huge. <laughs> you deserve to graduate as much as anyone up here. <laughs> Give me your handkerchief, nerd principal. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Finnegan High School graduating class. What happened to our hat? Her fancy graduation hat. Should I say the last of us? <laughs> there you are, Mr. Young. I wanted to let you know about the new students you'll be getting next year. There's Kirby, the prankster who's always falling asleep. Gecko, the adorable yet seemingly unattainable girl. Jab, the... Oversized bully. What? No. The foreign exchange student chess master. <laughs> Crab, the oversized bully. And a bunch of other kids I don't know anything about and may change from week to week. Well, I wish the next science teacher luck. I've decided to leave Finnegan. You're quitting? I thought you'd be happy. So did I. When I hired a kid teacher four years ago, I thought it was going to be a disaster. And it was. But you also made this place fun. Thanks. I had fun. <laughs> then why are you leaving me? I took this job to have the high school experience I never had. And now I've had it. I managed to see this group of kids through high school, but it was never easy. So I took a job teaching at the university. I'll finally have students who want to learn. Hello, class. My name is Professor Young. Welcome to... Oh, no. <laughs> what are you all doing here? Taking science, Professor Sweetie. Wait. This isn't high school. You don't have to take science. You all chose to take science. Well, that means I must have inspired you. Easy there, Professor Sweetie. You can call me Adam. Today, we're going to be examining velocity, adhesion. <laughs> mold growth. Bye.